lower everything. <laughs> there's um, God, there's so many people that have been a huge part of my career. I, you, you listen to these songs and everything, and I get all the attention for these songs. There were some wonderful collaborators, uh, Roger Nichols and Kenny Asher, and Biff Rose, guys that I wrote songs with that, uh, that have been such a huge part of my life. I, 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 the first thing I did when I came, walked into this room today is I went over to Terrence Stamp. I, I said, you know, there's a wonderful moment at the end of Billy Budd, when Billy Budd is about to be hung for something he didn't do. I mean, it's just total injustice. And uh, they, I think Clyburn asks him, like, Billy, do you have any last words? And, and he thinks for a moment, and he says, God bless Captain Veer. And then they hang him. And it's the most uniquely beautiful presentation of absolute innocence I think I've ever seen it in film. It's just, it's this completely innocent little soul being snuffed out. And here I am at this, at, at this age, and I've been you know, doing songs and acting whenever they let me, you know, since the old days when I looked like Healy Mills, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'm not sure that my innocence is intact, but I can tell you that my passion is. And my, my passion... <laughs> My passion is, is, is absolutely intact for two things. One of the things that, that was key to my life, I've actually had two lives, and, and the second life is, is probably a, even a larger part of this than, than the first life. The first life is when all of the songwriting began and the like. But 23 years ago, about six blocks from here, I went through rehab. On March 15th, I'll celebrate 23 years of continuous survival. I used to live next door to Robert Mitchum, and that would put anybody in rehab. <laughs> but it's just so bizarre, 23, almost 23 years later, you know, just a few blocks away to be standing here and have the kind of life that I have today and all. I'm sitting with my beautiful wife, Mariana. I'm sitting with my, so my handsome son, Cole Williams, who's a wonderful actor, sitting right down here. And with Mr. Kessler, who called me and said, I want to make a film about, about your life and your career. And I, you know, my first thought was that there is nothing in this world more pathetic than some little old man going, please, sir, may I have another cup of fame? It's just, it's just, you know. Oh my God, I was such a media whore. If you put down a camera and a couch, I would show up. I was just, I became better at showing off than showing up. And, and, uh, and I think I became addicted to attention. And, and at, at some point, my addiction to alcohol and, and cocaine outran that addiction, and I disappeared. But we spent a few years together, and Mr. Kessler made this, this film, Paul Williams Still Alive. And if, if there's anything that anybody gets after watching the film, I hope they'll get two things. They'll, they'll get that Paul Williams is the luckiest man in the world, and that recovery works. If there is one thing I can charge you with is, remember, I want to thank the IPA for this amazing award, but if there's, if there's one thing that I can charge you with, it, 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 it is this is that as you honor us by, by, by writing about our work, I would ask you to step up to the plate and write about the fact that in this digital age, di digital age people that are creating the songs and the movies deserve to be able to make a viable living with their work, with their art. As, as, <laughs> as President and Chairman, President and Chairman of the Board of ASCAP, representing 450,000 songwriters and composers and publishers, they're stepped into an amazing time you know, where the digital world, we don't, we, there are more fabulous devices than ever before in the, the history of the world of, where people can enjoy music and movies and the like and all. We don't want to stop any of that. We don't want to shut any of that down. Anybody tells you that we're trying to close down the internet, that's bullshit. Excuse me, that's the only expression for it. It's just bullshit. The fact is we want art, you know, the, Art is the child of struggle. Let it live in, in the spotlight for all time to come. If you can, help us with that. If you can, write about the fact that these kids coming up, making movies, making music, deserve to make the kind of a living and have the kind of life that I have. Uh, I am a very blessed man. I thank you for this kindness. God bless. Have an enjoyable evening.